What's up guys, Aaron here from Dinny Collins Fitness as usual and today we're talking about NEAT. So what is NEAT? It stands for Non-Exercise Activity Thermogenesis. Now that's really really fancy terms but basically non-exercise activity and the amount of calories thermogenesis is how much you burn during your non-exercise activity, okay? So basically, if you're somebody that hits the gym and you have your kettlebell workouts, you have your home workouts, this is all of your activity outside of that, okay? So your NEAT is everything outside of the gym or outside of your home workouts. So basic things like you're walking your day-to-day, -day, you're shopping, you're picking up the kids from school, all of your daily activities is considered your NEAT, okay? And guys, what I want to nail in this video and really get the point across is how important your NEAT actually is. The example I'll use just off the top of my head is if you're somebody that has a sedentary job or like you work in an office or you're sitting a large part of the day, just think of these two scenarios. So let's say you're sitting literally nine to five and the only time you really get up with, get up for, is uh, or the only reason you really get up is to go pick up something from the office or go get a drink of water. Movement is very, very minimal, so your calorie burn is going to be pretty low, okay? If you compare that day or that um, type of lifestyle in comparison to somebody like a farmer or a builder, for example, that works physically all day, so let's say they're moving bricks and they're moving bales of hay and their their day-to-day -day activity is extreme. So they're moving all of day. So at the most basic level, who is burning more calories throughout the day? And technically, they're not really exercising, okay? So it's a huge contributor. Your uh, Everything outside of the gym is a huge contributor to your weight loss, to your metabolism, to your muscle mass, to absolutely everything, okay? So that's what I want to get the point across here. Um, how to increase your need. So if you are somebody that has a sedentary enough job, there's simple things you can do to uh, increase your need and increase your non-exercise activity. So simple things like, and guys, this sounds so basic, but I guarantee it makes a huge difference. Walking everywhere, instead of using the elevators, the stairs, instead of uh, the escalators, all that stuff, walk absolutely everywhere. I personally think absolutely every person on the planet should have a 10,000 step uh, daily goal. So you should try hit 10,000 steps every single day. Even that alone, walking 10,000 steps every single day increases your need. It will increase your calorie burn by about three to 500. It really, really helps that day-to-day -day stuff. Parking further away from your job, when you're going to get the shopping, when you're going to get the kids, park further away from things that you need. Like really, what are you in a hurry to do? Okay, maybe if you're in a hurry, you can do the things a little bit differently. But instead of trying to find the best parking space closest to absolutely everything you're doing, park further away and walk that extra distance, okay? Weekends are a huge opportunity, not just weekends, any day really, days off or weekends are great opportunities to increase your needs for the week. Organize stuff like your hikes. So go do a Crow Patrick or a Sugarloaf Mountain or walk Glen the Lock, find a forestry area, walking loads at the weekends. Organize a cold, a cold swim, a sea dip, something like that. Uh, organize a game of Astro, organize playing with the kids. Guys, all of this makes a huge, huge difference, okay? Really, really big um, impact on your metabolism, your calories, and your weight loss. So if you just put the two of them side by side and visualize these two scenarios, somebody in an office drove to work, so they were sitting then, sorry, they sat down to eat breakfast, they sat down driving to work, they sit down at their desk nine to five, they come home and they sit down again on the couch for the evening and they might, they might do a home workout if they can, okay? If you compare that to somebody else, okay? So let's say somebody that gets up first thing in the day and like they, let's say a builder for example, they get up, they park a little bit further and they walk to, the, to their job. They're moving all day, they're moving bricks, they're staying physical, they walk back to the car, they come home and they have a huge, huge calorie burn and they have a huge energy expenditure by the end of the day. Being naturally more active, you can eat more, you can feel better, you're improving your endorphins and there's no downside to it, guys. So, 
everything outside of the gym really really counts guys and I guarantee even doing something simple like adding a daily step count to your already existing training schedule so if you're somebody that trains Monday Wednesday Friday try hit 10,000 steps every single day and I guarantee you will see a huge difference okay hope it helps guys try get your knees up it is one of the biggest factors down in weight loss and it will make a huge contributor towards your success okay i hope that helps get your knee up hope it makes sense